What's up people? It's your chemical engineering guy and we're going to continue with the mass balance section or course. We're going to talk about the general information about how to construct a mass balance and for this I'm going to talk about the scale up or scaling up when you're like in a plant and you go up you need to increase your production. How do you do it? Or at least how do the math in the math in the mass balance works? And we are going to see also what the hell is a basis of calculation. This, as it sounds, is just a base number to do your calculations. But okay. Now you've seen diagrams before. We already see how to construct diagrams. So if you haven't seen them? Go back, please. You will understand better this video. If you know how to do a flow diagram. So we're going to see some diagrams here and I ask you kindly to review them and try to understand them. In every one of these there's a basis of calculation. Don't worry I'm going to explain it later. This is a basis number that we assign it to simplify the problem. So for example imagine this problem I will read it to you, the typical text will be Benzene and Toluene are going to be mixed and each flow is equivalent so you have the same amount of Benzene entering and you have the same amount of Toluene entering this mixing unit. The product, which is P current, will be of course 50% Benzene and 50% Toluene. So, the problem here is they don't give you data. You have no numbers, they just tell you these ones are equivalent. So, what uh, normally engineers do, or people that design, they choose a basis. I will choose a basis. What basis? Well, let's continue. I would like, I don't know, if I would like to, to say one kilo of B, because it will be the same kilo than T, then of course you could do the mass balance and get that P equals 2 and the composition stays the same. So we could also say like I want to choose 2 kilos of P or 1 kilo of P and you could solve this. If you choose 1 kilo here you will have of course half kilo here of benzene and half kilo here of the wind. So I think you're getting to understand that it doesn't depend on the number it depends more on the relationship it must be balanced if you balance this you're going to be okay what will happen if we have this exact, exact system here we have one kilo here of benzene one kilo of toluene are entering the system everything is fine same composition and we have two kilograms per of product but let's say this is just a, a pilot plant and then your boss tells you, hey, I like it, it's cool, you're mixing units, it's fast, I like it, cheap, let's do it, but uh, the problem is that I need 20 kilos of product. So, how do you get those 20 kilos of product? It's easy, you only need to divide the 20 kilos of product with the actual amount of kilos of product, which is 2, and you will get the factor 10, 10x. You just need to multiply every flow times 10. Which is easy because in this example we only have three flows and two flows are equi equ equivalent or equal so it's easy. So 1 times 10 gives you 10, 1 times 10 gives you 10 and 20 or 2 times 10 gives you 20. So that's cool, your boss will be happy because you have the same product, the product hasn't changed, it's half and half, just the amount which is very cool because you can sell a lot more. So let's continue, but what about, I don't know, you were doing this, you know you did this for, let's see, for your experiment, and your boss tells you, please, like, tell me how much time do I need, or how, how are the flows, how much product are we going to get per hour, per day, per year, please tell me, because it doesn't make sense, if you have this process and you need 10 years, well, uh, very welcome, but no one will buy it. So we need to add some units. You could use not per minute, and 
well of course this was 10 sorry about that it was 10 we were about the 20 it was 20 10 and 10 so what we are doing is only saying that we are going to do this per minute so the numbers are the same 10 kilograms of benzene 10 kilograms of toluene and 20 kilograms of the product but the the real stuff here the interesting part here is that we already have minutes here so we could either balance for hours like if you want minutes seconds etc we could do it and not only that if you're i don't know your boss doesn't like international system units he doesn't like kilos he's like what the hell is that i don't understand you like most of clients will do i assure you then you can change it to pounds so what's the relationship between pounds and uh, kilo so 2.2 pounds it's about one kilo so just multiply that you have 10 times 2.2 you will get 22 pounds of benzene 22 pounds of toluene 44 pounds of the product per minute per minute and per minute so that's cool your boss will understand it's the same amount the same process it's balance it's cool same product and the other thing we could do like if you're selling this was with your boss, but you, I don't know, you were selling with other people and they don't like to work with minutes. They say, no, but we don't work with minutes. We have all our mass balances with hours. Like we work with hours and I feel more like I can compare my flows. Like say they have, they use hours. Like they tell you I use 7,000 kilograms per hour. So you change it to hours and they will understand more than with minutes. So what do you need to change to hours is just the relationship you already know 60 minutes is one hour so just change multiply by 60 it will be 10 times 60 600 600 here 1200 here same product composition doesn't change if you don't believe me you can check 600 times 600 you will get 1200 and 600 divided in 1200 will give you half and half so it's cool, this is what we're going to use in general, this is the basis of calculation and scaling up. Because we haven't actually scaling up, we just are changing units, but scale up will be the same, like, they tell you, actually we did scale, it was here. This process was called scale up, because we only had this one kilo and one kilo, and two kilos and we are now saying the same process 10 kilos 10 kilos and 20 kilos with only one basis the basis was one kilo of b our basis of calculation was one kilo of b and scaling up to 10 was the process i call scale up so good the conclusion is that all process must be and are balanced and that's cool and that's why they do a lot of pilot tests to see first if it works when it's small and they try maybe a pilot one like it's bigger and finally they go big like a super plant before it was I don't know one beaker and then it was a tank of I don't know some gallons and now it's like a super tank of cubic meters so that's cool what I want you to show is when the process is balanced so I give you some examples and when you can use or not so you get used to know if you can solve it or not you have here first of all here you don't have 100 kilos you have 32 kilos here and 25 kilos here so you, if you add up you only get 57 and you know you have an inlet here and if the process is steady which it probably is you need more data mass balance doesn't match more data or maybe actually you are accumulating stuff so it's interesting to conclude there now 15 moles here 3 more kilos here and 12 kilos here sorry this one kilos yes it is balanced even though we don't know the composition you know you can balance it because you have kilos here kilos here kilos here and they actually match now this is the interesting one 15 moles 3 moles and 12 moles 
you will say like oh yeah it's balanced because I have 15 miles and I have 3 miles here plus the 12 miles which give me also 15 miles so inlet and outlet of miles it's okay but it's impossible to know because you don't know the reaction so this mole could be another mole and moles are not balanced you can only say kilogram centering equals kilogram out because you remember the example of A produces B Sorry. you will have A last and you will win B so it doesn't make a lot of sense you should always ask is there any reaction Good. And finally, this is when 5 kilos, 5 kilos, and you don't even have a kilo here, you don't have a flow, you have no composition. When you have this, you are almost sure that you have not enough data. And let's do an exercise. The next process needs to be a scale up from 100 mol to 1250 pound mol per hour. So, it's easy. We have this process here. We don't actually need to solve it. We just want to scale it up. And the factor that I'm going to use for scaling is simply the desired amount divided with the actual amount. The actual feed amount is 100 and the desired amount is 1250 pounds per hour. So we have this factor. We just need to go and multiply each and each and you will, like this will be the answer. You will have this answer. Look how this is different from this one here. You have 50 here, now you have 625. And I want you to, sh to see that the compositions here, compositions here didn't actually change. Look, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.4. Point ninety five, point zero five, point ninety five, point zero five, and these, of course, will also remain the same. And that was everything I wanted to show you for the scale up and basis of calculation. Probably you haven't seen that much about basis of calculation, but don't worry. With the exercise, you're going to understand what is a basis of calculation. Scale up is actually so easy. Just calculate how much. Times do you need to have a, I don't know, uh, the factor, calculate the factor and just multiply and you will know how much mass balance you will need for that quantity. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.